Hello and welcome to Insta Blogs Global Report. This is Sukmani with fresh updates and more citizen voices from all over the world. Stories for the day are Kenya becomes a hub for human trafficking to the West. Outraged bar attack on Indian women sparks underwear protest. And United States to celebrate 60 years of its diplomatic ties with Jordan. Thousands of Kenyans are falling prey to human trafficking cartels and subsequent modern-day slavery in their desperate attempts to escape from worsening economic conditions at home. CJ Rose Wangui from Kenya has more on the exploitation meted out to the trafficked children and women. This is Rose Wangui, a citizen journalist from Kenya, reporting on Instablogs. The cartels have also been bringing into Kenya Ugandans, Tanzanians, Indians, Chinese, Pakistanis, Bangladeshis and Congolese who are forced to work in the construction industry and at the EPZ factories and as prostitutes in brothels in Nairobi. Notably, children brought or stolen in Kenya are held in townhomes built as schools before they are ferried to Burundi, South Africa and Europe. Some of these children are being trafficked for purposes such as removal of organs, religious rituals or witchcraft. Chinese women have been trafficked for sexual exploitation and Bangladeshis for forced labor through Kenya. In all of the countries that, that is Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania and Burundi, the majority of trafficked respondents indicated that traffickers used either promises of jobs with a good salary to persuade them. Indians outraged at an attack on women for drinking in a bar have gathered together to send a provocative gift of underwear to right-wing activists. CJ Pankaj Goswami from India supports this peaceful and non-violent move meant to put the Saini activists to shame. This is Pankaj, student journalist reporting on Instablogs from India. A little-known group called the Consortium of Pub Going Loose and Forward Women with a membership of more than 5,000 within just one week of its formation is making news on the social networking site Facebook. The group has decided to give pink colored underwears to the Hindu right wing group called Shiram Sena, whose khaki shorts wearing kiddos are often derisively called the Chadiwalas. The move will clearly put to shame the Sena activists for chasing and beating up innocent women who were just enjoying at a bar in Mangalore. Besides, a peaceful, non violent way to lodge protest against those who are bent upon imposing their Taliban style values all over. United States Embassy in Amman is getting ready to celebrate six decades of its diplomatic ties with the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. CJ Wad Abu Zurek has more on the celebrations from there. This is Wad Abu Zurek reporting for the Insta blogs from Jordan. The U.S. Embassy in Amman is getting ready to celebrate six decades of diplomatic ties with the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. Different activities are being prepared for the celebration and a book highlighting the history of these ties is being finalized. Part of why these ties were strongly maintained throughout the years is due to the strategic relationship between the Jordanian Kingdom and the United States of America. This relationship is an institutional one that depends on interests of both countries. In a press conference last Tuesday, the American ambassador in Jordan, Robert B. Croft, stated that both Republicans and Democrats on Capitol Hill are strong supporters of ties with Jordan. If you want your voice to be heard by millions, let Instablogs be your choice. You can contact us at cj at instablogs.com. That's all for today's show. We'll be back with fresh updates and more citizen voices. Till then, it's goodbye from the entire team of Global Report.